A Disky Times, now available in stores around the country for only three Rand fifty. It is KTV powered by World Sports Betting. Orlando Pirates uh, 3, Marisburg United 1. Other way around, home team, Marisburg United 1, Orlando Pirates 3. In the NetBank Cup on a Saturday evening, enjoyable match. We really, really did enjoy it, particularly because Mar uh, Marisburg United scored first. It was always interesting what was going to happen. How do you solve that problem as coaches? They did. They did because they put in Ukabelo Lamini. Dion Hotto was very good as well. Umdambo, as usual, was very, very good as well. Orlando Pirates now move on to the next round of the NetBank Cup. Highest ever goal scorer in the history of Orlando Pirates, Benedict Tso Vilagazi, my football hero, and next to me as our analyst in, at Disky TV. So, lovely game indeed. Uh, Meadowsburg United scared the Orlando Pirates at the beginning of that game. How did you see it? <laughs> They didn't do anything. It was a mistake. Uh, communication broke down between Tyson, Nolundu, and Ofori, and then Kutumelo uh, capitalized on that. Yeah. But other than that, what else? Nothing. And then I could see parents they started to, you know, to put things together. You know, trying to create chances. Uh, that's why I should have time. I mean, parents will win the game. I mean, I think Tyson will win it two one. Because I could see would. In my respect, they're just sitting there, they're not doing anything. But anyway, I'm not surprised. Uh, because of, I mean, Umedendorf is doing the very same thing. I mean, uh, you know, you all know, if Umedendorf was also the Lama team, uh, I'll be disturbed. Who go to these other teams, how do they analyze my respect? In uh, Shilong, you have time, I think, it matters for them to win. They need to make changes. And in Shilong, just three things, I think, uh, within no time, Udlamin came in, you know, a cold. We're still looking at the slow motion when the second goal was scored. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we need to talk to our people, you know, the feedback, the feedback, the feedback, the feedback, and yeah, guys, uh, you know, good goal from what I mean, and why uh, I was crying for him to, to, because of the last game, Ungeni uh, against is super sport, and it did very well, and when the player came in, and then it did very well, it's got that confidence, you know. So, unga 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 ibula the confidence. I can give him that opportunity, uh, also to 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 showcase. And I was disturbed again. Ngo guti uzungu nomtambo bebanga ko ifine pension last game against the Super Sport. And then uh, today, when zan uzemba uyamikali nomtambo, I was not really comfortable with that in Kulewa because you know. Psychologically, yeah, it passed a missy player with the last game, mm -hmm. and then this game now is coming in. Maybe the coach is testing me with how strong I am in, in terms of uh, uh, mentally. Uh, but look, I said it before about this boy, and I'm still going to say it again, and again, and again. It's been a while seeing a midfielder that does this. And I just wish this boy uh, can continue to work hard. Uh, we always cry and say, I'm a striker, I'm a core, I'm a striker, I'm a core. Yes. But uh, it's not only the job of the strikers that they need to score. Midfielders also, they need to create and score. This boy, after a long, a long period uh, of seeing midfielders getting to those positions, uh, 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 create uh, and score goals. This boy, if you can check uh, uh, the past three games, he scored a game Lanai. 
The last game he was not a teammate. Look at him today. He created a, a chance. Kulego, this boy, you know, uh, boy, I'm not putting pressure on you, but I love what you're doing, and uh, I'll support you on the way. Could you go on and break your record as a scoring midfielder? I mean, I know what you did was amazing at Orlando Paris. I think between 55 and 60 goals, it could be even more. But could you, do you think he could go on? Um, and I don't know if age is on his side, but do you look at him and think maybe he could score maybe even half of what you scored for Orlando Paris as a record uh, goal scorer? Um, it's got the potential to do that. And that's why I'm happy. Uh, I'm one person that because I believe all of us we need to get a growth. The boy, he mustn't look back in Kulego. He's got a potential. Uh, he can do it. And boy, uh, look, I'm supporting all the way. You're doing something that Dallas uh, can be born to see a midfielder that can create and also score a goal. Yeah, Kulego, uh, let's, let's, let's give these boys a chance, you know. Uh, coach Agabanega is a chance, man. Uh, again, if we can check with the, about the crisis of injuries, Uloch is out, uh, Abu Mango, Abu Mabaso, Abu Lepasa, they're still out. So give this boy a chance. Let's see more of him because we have only so much to know I can do it better. Mm. Yeah, but, I'm, 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 I'm worried uh, in terms of communication between Uofore and his defense. Because even second half, he also made a mistake. Uchele tried to, to, to play the ball going a and he was late. He ended up um, at Aiva, and then Kutumela, again Kutumela, lucky enough, like he yeah. missed it. Yeah. So, ish, I'm not sure with the communication about Inja, but from where I'm sitting, I, I think with the defense, they trust him. You know, if he says this, and then they're like, okay, then they just leave it because if you can see Koli le Koro Ukutumela, you could see Uguti Utaisin. He's not going there because of the communication between him and Ofor. And if Ofor get a touch, I mean, obvious. I mean, you you'll be relaxed because he's in control of the game now. But unfortunately, Ofor, you could see man Uguti ish those dynamics of ball control, uh, you know, taking right decisions because La Payana, you got the ball guard. Then play it out. Why do you want to have, I mean, two and three touches? Yeah. You are not a midfielder. Uh, worst part, you are a good keeper. You know, yes, I know some good keepers, they are good in their feet in terms of playing and move. But for him, he, he must know himself. So good. You know what? I'm not that player that can play and get to the space, you know, and make my team play. So you are supposed to get that ball and then kick it and save and thank you. Yeah. Do you think Orlando Paris perhaps are in a good chance to win a second trophy this season? Looking at the Netbank Cup, I mean, there's sundowns left. They still have to play uh, their round, but they have, they have CAF commitments this weekend. They were supposed to play today. Um, you know, Orlando Paris already empty in eight. Do you think that perhaps uh, they could take this one as well and make it two trophies this season? Gulego, I'm still putting pressure again. Good uh, technical team in Paris and the players. The quality is there. Uh, the depth is there. Uh, they've worked hard, uh, they did it. Why can't they do it again? I'm putting pressure to them to say, boys, you can do it. You did it before. Why not now? Uh, I'm not putting pressure only in the league. I'm putting pressure also uh, on the uh, uh, NetBank Cup because the quality is there. Gulego, Pega, Amakos, Abawa, Koril. Let's not look at Ima respect. Yes, we know what the uh, pound to pound they can't uh, uh, match a parrot, but they're also a PSL team. Yeah. Uh, so look at the goals, Paris uh, Koril. Look at the creativity, La Payana. The 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 technique from good Lamine, good Kulile, Zokora, Pool. It tells you Uguti the quality is there. So why can't they 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 call out and work uh, and work for any trophy? So I'm saying to them, whatever that is on the table, let them go for it. All right, last one then. Marrowspec United, they are under pressure at the moment. Um, briefly, just your opinion about what's happening with them. Nine points, last team in the log. Uh, um, out of an, a competition now, maybe that will give an opportunity for them to focus on the league. Um, where do they go next? Because Faru Kadodia will have a sit down with some of his brothers, his siblings, and also some of his board members, and they will talk about what they have to do going forward. If you are in that boardroom, what are you saying? If you are part of the membership, 
you know, of Madisburg United decision makers. What is Ovila like, saying about the coaching going forward? One, I will, I will blame ourselves as a, a support. Mm-hmm. Why in Shoganjala? Because one, the very same coach, uh, we were sharing a good allocation. And then we, we got the Ulundu Eric Tintla. Eric Tintla, I mean, four games, Ilikitala. We decided to go to some coach. And then we said the very same person who we got share a good allocation zone. So where are we now? So we cannot say players are not good enough. So we need to look at you no, know, but the person in law or, 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 or simulated is he good enough for our team now? Uh, I saw some uh, uh, I would say in the news, uh, Coach Middendorf says uh, he needs uh, respect from from the from the media. Look, I mean I believe, I believe and I'm seeing people are there also to correct me, I'm not perfect. Kulego, you earn a respect. That's how I believe. You need to earn the respect. You don't go and buy the respect. You don't force people to respect you. You need to earn the respect. And uh, for you to earn the respect, your results. Look today, everyone respect to Coach Pitts. Why? The results are talking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, we know okay, Coach Pitts, who has cool I, I love him a lot. He has cool male. But, <laughs> you know, one thing that is there, and uh, you, uh, you can't take it away from him, is the respect. Is there? We respect him because the results are there. Yeah. So you can't come and say you 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 you, you deserve to be respected. I mean, is is, in, is I'm so sorry. Just to, to close this off, then before we we close the video, is is Middentorp, sorry, Ernst Middentorp, off? Is he is he is he gone in the next seven days? If you're in that board, your prediction: What's happening next week? If 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 I was in that board. Tonight is gone. If I was in that part, tonight is gone. Because uh, Ngulego, he, he, he did it before. And he's going to do it again. So at least it's still early. They still have games. Yes. So the earlier the better. Second yeah, second, the earlier the better. Because if he's going to go to the second, second round, I'm telling you that team is gone. And I'm afraid one thing. That team, if that team goes down, they're not going to come back. Mm. So they need to save that team now, not tomorrow. Okay. There you go. Just a clarification very quickly, because I know digital media people and their favorite tendencies. Um, number one, Ernst Middendorp at some point was coaching Marisburg United. And at some point, he left them lingering down the bottom. Recently, when coach Eric Tinkler took over, he took over from uh, Muhsin Etugral, who had taken over from Fadlu. So that season... Uh, maybe two seasons ago, was Fadlu do, not doing well after he went to the 2017 Netback Cup final. The next season, in 2018, um, he didn't do well. And then they called Moksin Etugral. Uh, he didn't do well. And then they called Eric Tinkler, who saved them from the playoffs. But at some point in years before, uh, coach Ernst Middendorp also was, had an opportunity to help the team, and he left them in relegation. And is now seemingly going to leave them in relegation as well, unless the situation improves. It is key times of CO Rosary. Uh, it is key TV is on Facebook as well. WSP or CO Rosary. We thank you very much for watching us.